Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Give glory to God, the light of the light. O come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to the Lord with songs. For you, Lord, are a great God, and a great ruler above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. In your hand are the caverns of the earth, the heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us sing to the Lord, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Come, let us sing. The Lord, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Give glory to God, our light and our light. O come, let us worship and praise. God, our Maker, you guide us as the sheep of your fold. When we stray into rebellion and unbelief, bring us back and restore us, that we may follow your ways and listen to the voice of our Shepherd who gives us eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 94. O Lord, avenging God, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world, give to the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evil doers are full of false deeds. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your very own. They kill the widow and the stranger, and put the orphans to death. And they say the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you most brutish people, you fools, when will you be wise? Does the one who planted the ear not hear? Does the one who formed the eye not see? Does the one who disciplines the nations not punish? Does the one who teaches all humankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts. 
Come like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you discipline, O oh Lord, those whom you teach from your law. You give them rest in evil days, until the pit is dug for the wicked. For you will not abandon your people, nor will you forsake your very home. For judgment will again be just, and all the upright of heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against the evil doers? If the Lord had not been my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your steadfast love, O Lord, upheld me. When anxious thoughts fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can a seat of injustice be allied with you, one which frames evil into law? They conspire against the life of a righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold. My God is my rock of refuge. Who will turn back their wickedness against them and destroy them in their own sin? The Lord our God will destroy them. Almighty God, do not abandon your people, but defend us from the power of the enemy. Grant that those who suffer for the sake of justice may find consolation in the cross of Christ and be filled with your peace now and always. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 111. <clears throat> Hallelujah! I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright in the congregation. Great are your works, O Lord, pondered by all who delight in them. Majesty and splendor mark your deeds, and your righteousness endures forever. You cause your wonders to be remembered. You are gracious and full of compassion. You give food to those who fear you, remembering forever your covenant. You have shown your people the power of your works in giving them the lands of the nations. The works of your hands are faithfulness and justice. All of your precepts are sure. They stand fast forever and ever because they are done in truth and equity. You sent redemption to your people and commanded your covenant forever. Holy and awesome is your name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who practice this have a good understanding. God's praise endures forever. Gracious and holy God, feed us at the table of holy wisdom, that we may honor, love, and obey you as your children. May we remember your wonders and ponder your works, so that we delight to do what you ask of us, by the power given to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In 720. <clears throat> 
A reading from Deuteronomy. Moses said, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. You shall heed such a prophet. This is what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly when you said, If I hear the voice of the Lord my God any more, or ever again see this great fire, I will die. Then the Lord replied to me, They are right in what they have said. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their own people. I will put my words in the mouth of the prophet, who shall speak to them everything that I command. Anyone who does not heed the words that the prophet shall speak in my name, I myself will hold accountable. But any prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, or who presumes to speak in my name a word that I have not commanded the prophet to speak, that prophet shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the 31st of January. In some traditions, today is commemorated Marcella of Rome, born in the year 325, murdered in the year 410.
Marcella had an enviable life as the daughter of a prominent Roman family who married a wealthy man. But less than a year after her wedding, her husband died. She was given a chance to continue living in wealth when she was proposed to by the wealthy consul, Cerealis. She chose instead to convert her mansion into one of the earliest communities of women, where she and other noble women used their riches to help the poor. Marcella said she preferred to store her money in the stomachs of the needy than hide it in a purse. In 410, when the Goths invaded Rome, they broke into Marcella's home. When they demanded money, she calmly responded she had no riches because she had given all her money to the poor. Though she was already an elderly woman, they beat and tortured her mercilessly. Eventually, her attackers were shamed by her piety, and she was released, but she died of her wounds in a short time. Marcella of Rome wrote, By heaven's grace, captivity has found me a poor woman, not made me one. Now, I shall go in want of daily bread, but I shall not feel hungry, since I am full of Christ. Lord, some of us have found wealth in this world, while others of us are left wanting. But as we stand before you, we are all paupers, save for your grace and love. Remind us that our true wealth is your gift of a sustainable way of life for all. Amen. You have been born anew through the living and abiding word of God. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way. 
to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from our heart shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people and countries ravaged by strife or warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Compassionate God, you gather the whole universe into your radiant presence and continually reveal your Son as our Savior. Bring wholeness to all that is broken and speak truth to us in our confusion that all creation will see and know your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us co-workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence to use the resources of nature, so that no one may suffer from our abuse of them, and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, by our baptism into the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you turn us from the old life of sin. Grant that we who are reborn to new life in him may live in righteousness and holiness all our days. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God Almighty, Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, Grant us, we pray, to be grounded and settled in your truth by the coming of the Holy Spirit into our hearts, that which we know not revealed, 
that which is wanting in us fill up, that which we know confirm, and keep us blameless in your service, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, and Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. And the peace of Christ be with you always. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me this cold and dry Sunday, the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany. We worship today at 10 a.m. on Zoom, and we normally pray three times a day, almost every day. For the next week, the first through the seventh of February, I'll be on vacation, and there won't be any updated videos. You can use yesterday's suffrages videos for the 30th of January or today's 31st of January videos to guide you as you work through the lectionary this coming week if you desire and if you don't have access to a hymnal or liturgy of your own. I'll be back on Sunday, I'm sorry, on Monday, February 8th with new prayer videos. Please note that we are preparing, beginning to prepare for the season of Lent which begins with Ash Wednesday, February 17th. The Transfiguration of Our Lord is the 14th of February this year, which is a Sunday. If you want to know more about atonement, how to join us, how to worship with us, how to support us, you can begin with the information in the description below. I hope to see you joining me again soon. Until that, may God bless you.